bring in uh, Mike Tantun Nguyen. He is CEO of Baud Tech, uh, online travel company, flyma.com, also TA Resources at Myanmar. He joins us around the desk here at the SGX. So, Mike, good to see you and appreciate your time. Uh, good morning, sir. You're sort well, of a, morning. a man about town in Myanmar. You're, uh, you've got your fingers in, in a lot of very different businesses, right, yep. including tech. Talk to us about the tech scene. Uh, there are things as uh, uh, as positive as, as, uh, as Akiko has been described? Uh, yes, definitely. The, uh, <clears throat> as Akiko have said, the uh, our mobile penetration has uh, leapfrogged from 3% to 80% in the last three years. So the, um, and everybody's on smartphone, 80% of the uh, total users are smartphone users. And the, uh, we have uh, a, really, a very fast growth trend. We move on instead of the uh, laptop, we move directly to smartphones. So the uh, intent of IT investment um, is going to be big. The what about IP protection, though? I would assume that that's not really in place yet, is it? And the, how much um, of a challenge is that <coughs> going to uh, be yes. for tech? In terms of uh, IP protection, as you know, the, um, the government is still new, so there's still a lot of bills to pass. The uh, peacemaking is still part of the biggest priority of the government. Mm. So in terms of, uh, term of IP protection, it's crucial for tech investment like us, but uh, we've got to grab the early mover advantage. Um, mm. yeah, while the government, I believe the government will roll out the bills, including IP protection. Okay, uh, in due course, but I mean, security is still uh, probably top priority. Uh, let me ask you a cheeky question. The fact that there is no IP protection uh, at this stage in Myanmar, uh, could that actually be advantageous for some tech companies? In terms of the, uh, the government is in fact trying to um catch up in terms of regulation. So to be frank, this can be an advantage because the, the government does not have a clear guideline to how to regulate fintech, mm. how to regulate e-commerce. Oh. So it's good that the uh, new early movers can help with the government to probably okay. draw some of the guidelines yeah. to be in line with the global standard. Yep. We were just talking about this off camera because, uh, you, you know, we were saying that this was a country that was so closed off and yet that has in a, in a roundabout way been proven to be an advantage for Myanmar because as you say, there was no real type of entertainment, no real theme parks and all of that void has been filled with social media and Facebook and just how many users there are right now. There's certainly a lot of foreign investors who are taking note, but the market isn't necessarily open just yet. There's a new investment bill that's looking to be pushed through. How is that likely to change the environment? There. The, um, in fact, the, uh, there's uh, two, uh, two batch of foreign investors. Some, so of course, the, um, the, the briefer ones, the early movers, they already went in even with the previous government. There's a slowdown in FDI partly because the, um, the uh, economy is definitely a pillar of the new government. Um, they were going to release a new investment law. So some foreign capital were just patient. They were just working for, uh, waiting for the new law to come in. So I believe that once the new law is out, we have a huge boom in FDI in Myanmar. Wow, okay. uh, so, so that would allow foreign investors to take a larger stake in these companies. But as I understand it, one of the ways that investors have gotten around that is a lot of these tech companies who are operating in Myanmar have been registered here in Singapore so that the invest they can take those funds and get around the law as it stands right now. In fact, the, uh, most, uh, most tech companies set up their office in Singapore is the, uh, the main priority is to, in fact to raise funds easier, a better access of capital. But in terms of Myanmar IT investment, the government still classify most of this IT as, uh, investment as service companies, so IT services. So in fact, it's actually allowed full foreign ownership uh, for IT services in Myanmar, actually, for consulting services. So they do not have a particular law that targets e-commerce. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. All right. That, that may potentially, could potentially be helpful. Mike, very quickly, before I let you go, you're in a whole bunch of uh, businesses. Just very quickly describe what you're in, what you do. So the, um, um, we have our main investment has two pillars. One is the IT investment and one is the automotive sector. Mm. So in IT, we, we invest in local startups, um, providing alternative investment of funds uh, other than so from... You're, um, you're like in the VC business then? Yeah, we're in the VC business. Oh, we are probably okay. the first 100% uh, Burmese owned, 100% local focused VC in Myanmar. Very interesting. Okay, yep. and cars as parts? Services yep, or? so um, the uh, Myanmar the vehicle ownership is about the uh, Escudi motorcycle, is about 13 vehicles per 1,000 population. Very low penetration. Very low, that's compared to 200 plus in Thailand. Mm. So we see a huge potential in the automotive sector. That's mm. why the, um, since the listing of Ascension in 2012, yeah. so we were, the, uh, we were fortunate enough to be the sole distributor of uh, Royal Dutch Shell. Uh, for Shell in Myanmar, targeting lubricants, and ah. for, for the uh, automotive sector. Okay. We also got the uh, sole distributorship of Evaco trucks from Europe. Oh. So since then, uh, we had a huge growth of the uh, of, uh, of revenue and market share in these sectors. Yep. Oh, sounds interesting. Mike, <laughs> listen, wish you had more time. Come back, see you soon. Talk more. Great. Thank you so much, Mike. Appreciate it. Our pleasure. Uh, Mike Tantun Nguyen there, uh, CEO of BODTECH, flyma.com, TA resource, uh, Resources, Man About Town in uh, Myanmar, and our own Akiko Fujita, just spent the last 10 days uh, there, in fact.